This Olympian broke down during her isolation after being infected with COVID. I'm not sure I can handle 14 more days at the Olympic competition while being in this isolation. COVID-19 and strict social distancing restrictions within the Beijing Loop have made the 2022 Winter Games a major challenge for athletes already under immense pressure to perform their best after years of training. Over 180 athletes and team officials tested positive after arriving in Beijing since January 4th and had to go into isolation, raising concerns of mental health. Team USA figure skater Vincent Joe withdrew from the games after testing positive. I have been doing everything in my power to stay free of COVID since the start of the pandemic. I've taken all the precautions I can. I've isolated myself so much that the loneliness I felt in the last month or two has been crushing at times. Isolation is not good for anybody, and I understand the frustration, the stress, the disappointment that they feel after all the preparations, and that's why we developed the protocol to allow as many people out of isolation as possible. The reality, however, is I can't make the pandemic go away for the duration of the Games. One of the best parts of the Olympics is typically the camaraderie, the interactions we have with our fellow competitors and fellow athletes from other countries. And even that's been uh, limited. And without that type of release, we're going to see the pressure cooker build and build and build as athletes are often left to struggle with their own thoughts behind closed doors in their own rooms. As athletes, you know, we train our spiritual body, our emotional body and our physical body constantly. And then when it's taken away from you, that's something that's not even your choice. That's a pretty big bummer. Kirka says COVID has affected athletes like him in a lot of different aspects, from training to daily outlook. He's flying to Beijing later this month to compete at the Winter Paralympics in March. I am concerned going to Beijing and catching COVID and not getting to compete because so much of my life right now, there's there's a lot of pressure and like the whole world's on my back uh, going into the games and uh, to catch COVID and to not get a chance to compete when I've been training for years for a single moment would really be a bummer. Well, it's very important to use uh, electronic media for us to be able to connect with loved ones. So you know, the more we could Zoom and FaceTime and Skype with uh, fellow people back home that love and support us, that's going to be really, really necessary. I think it's vital that they also have an outside in head process of what book are they reading on the mind, on mental health? What can they do from the external to internalize that kind of information that's really going to help them be the best version of themselves emotionally. Beijing 2022 and another Olympics under COVID has put a renewed spotlight on mental health in athletes. I mean, I think that it really has become normalized um, with so many athletes talking about their mental health. And I think there has been such a push for parity with uh, mental health and physical health. So I think the conversation is going to continue and I, I hope really grow. Mm -hmm.